Good evening, Nigeria. Good people, great nation. Tonight, we are going to discuss a topic that touches everybody's life. Man, woman, young and old. Sometimes it can affect the well-being or otherwise, or even the very existence of a nation. Social, political, economic stability or development of a nation depends largely on this topic. And that is why tonight, Crossfire will be a little bit different from its normal form. Tonight, we are going to have more of education and enlightenment than the usual controversy and argument. In the last one year or so, on those states has experienced relative peace. Uh, people go about their normal duty without the fear of being attacked, molested, or robbed on the street. In some areas, people could afford to sleep with their two eyes closed. Then suddenly, about a fortnight ago, things suddenly changed for the worst. Within a spread of two days, the state was invaded by armed robbers and killers, probably hired or not, I don't know. In the wake of it, about two people were dead, a high court judge was robbed, and many families traumatized. For goodness sake, what's happening in our dear state? People were very scared, and in fact, a lot of people now have the phobia of going to the banks. The security agencies have since come out to reassure the people, and things are getting back to normal once again. But the incident has really battered the psyche of the people and has left some questions in its wake. That brings us to the topic for discussion tonight, security to life and property. Does Nigeria as a nation provide adequate security for lives and properties of its citizens? Will our usual fire brigade approach to security issues help us? Are the citizens themselves security conscious? What are the steps being taken for Nigeria to be more secure, to be a more secure place to live? Good evening once again. This is Crossfire. I am Banjo Abitogun. Tonight I have in the studio with me some very people that are saddled with the responsibility of making Nigeria safe and secure for everybody. I have in the studio with me tonight ASP Aremo Adeniron. ASP Aremo Adeniron is the police uh, public relations officer for the Ondo State Police Command. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. I also have uh, Mr. Odunayo Omoshebi. Mr. Omoshebi is a student of the uh, University of Adoikite. He's also a graphic designer. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, to his immediate left, I have ASC Kayode Balogun. ASC Kayode Balogun is the public relations officer for the Ondo State Command of the um, um, Civil Defense Corps. That is it, I'm, uh, I'm sure? No, you are very wrong. Uh, okay, what is, what is the right term? The right thing is the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. Okay, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. Yes. And that is the, you are the PRO. The PRO. You are welcome to the program. Thank you very much, sir. I also have a, our barrister at law, barrister Victor Olatoegun. Barrister Olatoegun is a legal practitioner. He's also a former security operative. So he's well versed in what we are going to discuss tonight. You welcome to the program, sir. Good evening, viewers. Um, to kickstart the discussion tonight, I will first of all go to Barista Olatoegun. Barista Olatoegun, security to life and property, what does it mean? Uh, it's just like asking me what is my father's name. Okay. Uh, but I won't define security. I will tell the audience what you will achieve if there is security. And what you stand to experience where there is insecurity. Protection is guaranteed in an atmosphere of security. Anarchy prevails where there is no security. In essence, when you talk of security, you talk of being protected and you find yourself in the state of being secured. And safe. Okay. Um, ASP Aremo Adeniro, yeah. whose duty is it to provide security for the people? Uh, thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, it is the statutory duty of Nigerian police to ensure that uh, lives and property are well secured as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution. And uh, as it is, supposed to be a collaborative effort of the society and the police. We have to know that individual security, self-consciousness of personal uh, security is the best form of security. And in that wise, if that is guaranteed, the police will be able to secure individual in society as well as the property. And uh, that aside, aside, they should be able to be forthcoming 
to give police information or about the environment. Okay. Uh, Mr. Odroy Omashebi, what can you say about the general state of security for life and property in Nigeria? Uh, thank you, Mr. Madrita. It is quite obvious that Nigeria state, uh, state of uh, safety to life and property security compared to developed world. No, don't compare. Just say what you think Nigeria is. Okay, to no, Nigeria, yeah. to, to our, we Nigerians, I don't think our security, our safety to security of life and property is jiggly. It's checking. Based on the case studies of what is happening within this country. You see? Yeah. So you think it's not up to, it's to not, standard. In fact, when you are sleeping, whenever you lay your head on your bed, you don't know what will happen to you in the next two, two minutes. What happened in Jaws recently? Why people were chased out of their room? Some people killing them? Are, you, are, we, telling, are, we, are we telling ourselves that those people, they are secured? Are they? No. So Nigerians, we don't, our security in this country is not, it has not got to the right place. I okay, mean. we'll come back to that later. Um, ASC Okayode Balogun, you are the public relations officer for the state command of the Nigeria Civil Defense Corps. Uh, Sorry, there's this impression 